Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. And uh, while we are waiting for the next patch to arrive, or even the teasers for the next patch, I took the liberty of uh, taking a look at the game, see what needs to be changed, what needs to be fixed. Uh, most of these changes that I'm suggesting is going to be quality of life. These are going to be 10 changes, and I don't you I don't want you guys to miss on all of them. So Try to check out the video up to the end. And also, guys, if you feel that this video is very helpful to you, please do subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot. So starting off with number one, so it's going to be the energy. Um, it's going to be presence, basically. Um, my suggestion with the presence uh, system that we have is either they increase the cap, they decrease the cost of the content that we are you know playing or they increase the rate of regeneration i recently noticed that if i do um farm for the event here uh this is azure paradise of course um after this one it's very slow in regenerating energy throughout the day and um, i also want to farm this one um, the mine refinement because there are some logistics that I'd want to change the stats on and this takes a lot of energy so again guys the energy system should be changed because we are running out of energy although we can buy energy but again guys let's be realistic here one of those three improvements is you know should at least happen I'm not saying all of those should be implemented but this one either increase the cap decrease the cost or increase the rate of regeneration okay guys so for my second point we do have a decomposition problem right now i am i am full in all of my four star manifestation as you can see here they are already complete and where does my extra four star summon go it goes to this one the original mori segments my question is to the devs what am i going to do with these moving forward how am i going to recycle these how do we have another shop that i could use this currency can i purchase this with modified mori segments in the future so again they have to address this a lot in the community are already in this in, in this stage because we started most of our or a lot of us have started uh, day one for this game so four stars are already you know are already basically full of manifestations unless they put more four stars that is actually my third point unless they put more four stars in the games this would address the problem so again segueing to that one for more four stars the last four star that we were able to receive was not you your other incarnation where is the goldfish here so the last four star that came out was actually series and it was a long time ago so if you guys have a plan to create more four stars this is the this is the right time to do it because we are struggling already with the composition we can't buy anything with the decomposition that i mentioned earlier the mori segments can't can't do anything about it but for this one if you do put out more four stars there's a possibility that we could use it there especially if you do let's say for example at least one four star every update then that that probably would address the problem my fourth point is going to be the regular banners the regular banners are very outdated they still contain the the first five um not only that the guns are also of the old variant if you can see here and most of these guns are are no longer much of use because of the i'm not saying they're they're not being used but they're used less lesser in less so so space cowboy used to be popular now with yao not being used it's you know going down in popularity as well so my point is 
can we please add to you know add uh, add operatives here the ones that were released earlier also together with their guns can you add them here in the hearth of um, Mid uh, midgard because again we are running out of reruns okay so the next rerun banner would be life probably would be life infinite sight after that would be vidya agave and after that would be um kate donwing um most likely so with that said once we run out of banners technically we will be recycling banners again for the second and the third time so why not put them here in the hearth of midgard and you know be creative on the banners that you have instead so put them here at least put one two or three here um the example would be chen shing uh ethereal cloud who else probably kaguya would be included here as well chen shing kaguya would be included here as well of course the gun their guns would be here as well so again guys it's about time that they updated both of these banners and i hope they do sometime soon okay so my fifth point is recycling tier two weapons um you might say that i'm you know i'm going crazy with this suggestion is there are some guns that you don't you won't really be using like for me i am choosing not to use star ocean i want to recycle them or want, want to recycle star ocean but once i do recycle star ocean where is that i'm not using it i want to buy you know uh go for duplicates of guns if you do recycle them even if it's tier 2 you still only get 10 weapon component instead of 20. so i hope they fix this because some of the guns um that we have that we already tier 2 in the past that we're not using anymore some people might decide to recycle them so give them the value that they need with tier 2 weapons instead of giving them 10 here please give them 20. Again, I hope this happens soon as well. Okay, so my point here for number six is actually the story archive. Okay, so if we do want to go back and reread the story, it's not going to happen here. It's not here. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, but from what I checked, the story cannot be reread from the archives. Instead, you still have to go through each and every mission and check out progress. So if we click on this, this will start the story. This is the first part, then so on and so forth. So for those who want to, again, start reading the story or uh, for those who want to reread the story, I hope that the devs can include all of the progress story in terms of putting them all in the archive for those only that you have opened of course for us that we have finished all most of the story for me i haven't read much of the story so i want to, re to read them for the first time but it's a tedious um task just to go through here and what if i stop in some point of the story and i don't remember what it is so again it's better that we put them all in the archive here archive the story here please because there are a lot of players who want to reread re the story or at least read the story for the first time my seventh point guys is the tactic evaluation uh for those who have finished this this ha this has been here for quite a while and it's proving to be an eyesore except for you know testing out your your new units here this has been a testing ground for new units so more or less if this just this is just a testing ground for new units might as well create a practice you know practice uh, mode for new units or practice mode for all of the ops it's a very simple mode. It's easy to add. I'm sure you guys, you know, uh, are asking for this. But if there's a practice mode, we could practice skills. We could practice ballistic damage. 
we could you know crunch you know we could see data there rather than doing our practice here and also if you guys want to continue this more or less they need to add more phases add phase 13 14 and so on and so forth so we have new bosses i'm not sure why why they aren't adding anything here but this content should not be the practice area for new operatives that we're, we're that we are actually trying out but this should have more stages the practice area should be or the practice mode should be on a different content okay so for hard mode um i seem to think that the dev stopped at chapter 10 so i am right so we do have hard mode from chapter 11 up to this is chapter 13 already so again guys they need to have hard mode for these chapters um this is this is not really a big deal i think um because we are lacking a lot of content that continues from the old content similar with the tactic evaluation if they could fix this this would be a good added value to the um day one players or those who started last year so again guys devs please do add to the hard stages for the story okay so now we do have here our daily login rewards uh these are very outdated and how i wish the only my only suggestion with the daily login rewards is take out the green stuff here the green stuff should be taken out and should be replaced with at least a blue one okay these are very low in rarity um you know i would i would appreciate it if they would add a operative recruitment shit another one probably they would add this the fiber accent but my most important point is the green ones they should change in rarity uh, it's really up to them if it's the same type but please change the rarity because this is just a login every day this doesn't mean you know this won't really really be a big deal if they change the rarity so it's about time we're turning nearly one year and a half and this hasn't changed yet okay guys so that is it those are hopefully i counted right uh those are my 10 things that needs to be changed and probably in the comment section if you do have something else to probably suggest please do suggest them what other things that i missed that needs to be changed for this game uh, what other things that needs to be improved. So I'll see you in the comment section. Guys, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.